My name is Zach Bell. I'm from Muskoka, Ontario. I think just from a young age, uh, you know, being born in uh, obviously a smaller town in uh, northern Ontario, right? Big hockey culture, big hockey family. I was sort of born into the whole hockey scene. Unfortunately, I do not play anymore. I signed a contract in the NCDC with Twin City out in Maine, and I was so excited to go out there and start my journey and then move on to the NCAA and start, start pursuing my future. But uh, unfortunately, you know, I took my sixth and seventh head injuries uh, during that season, and I sort of uh, just wasn't able to ever sort of fully come back from that. But when I was told, you know, the dream's done, you know, you're, you gotta really seriously think about your health, uh, that's sort of where I was like, okay, I have this void, and how can I fill that? So that's sort of where my content comes in. I was always the kid who wanted to be different, didn't want to fit in, wanted to be the outsider. I really started to dig into the whole pushing the boundaries of what I can do with a stick and really trying to teach myself these moves and create new things that no one's ever seen before. Uh, it was just sort of a way for me to escape from the reality, to dive into that scene and really get in there into that creator mind space. Of course, you know, there's a lot of people who didn't sort of see the vision that I have. And hockey's such like a, an older, hard-headed, nosed sport that it's really a, a tough sort of niche to, to be different. If we put a lot of work into something, some of these negative comments, it does, it does affect you, but like, we know what the internet's like. None of this stuff's new to us anymore. He always says, if they wanna put negative energy out there in an Instagram comment, he'll take that negative energy and turn it into something positive. I had death threats when I was 14 years old. So like you can sort of imagine what that does to a 14 year old going to school. Like we would be playing, you know, double A hockey tournaments and I have a hundred kids in the stands just like waiting, watching, coming to the glass, like chirping. The mindset that we have, as long as they're talking about us, then we must be doing something right. I feel like maybe hockey needed someone to put themselves out there and take all that because someone had to be different to start change in our industry. Like we're putting videos into mainstream algorithms, mainstream platforms that no one's ever seen hockey at before. If you're looking into just starting to get into hockey and you see something like, you know, this little hockey community online, people sharing their skills, doing trick shots, improving what they can do, like when you see that, it's so hard to not gravitate towards that. It sort of gives you a different impression on the sport. Like what I really hope that that resonates with kids when they see that is just a different side to the game. I just want to show them that, you know, you don't have to go to the NHL, you don't have to do these things to pursue a life or a career or anything in the sport. We're really just trying to grow the game as a whole. Anything to really sort of inspire the youth to pick up that hockey stick. If I could describe my barn, it would be right here, right now. Like, I get to play pond hockey and just mess around with kids and teach them moves and just see their eyes light up at the excitement of the sport and just seeing the genuine love and energy like firsthand is just the most amazing feeling and I wouldn't trade it for anything. For me personally, hockey was an escape to find who I am and finally finding that and finding always hockey and really creating what I have created over the last two years. I think everything that I went through my whole life with hockey was to get me to that point. I had to reinvent myself, reinvent my life, reinvent, you know, my reality, my day to day, my future, my everything. But I've refound my true self in what I do now.